Ashley from Twinkle and today's lesson is all about how to teach art to kids. I'll make sure you get some top tips to engage children, to allow their creativity to flow and to harness some really important skills across a range of themes such as seasons, nature, history and geography just to name a few. Lesson packs include a wide variety of artists and art movements such as world-renowned Rembrandt who favour the ordinary to depict a realistic sense of life. You must cast your eye over that wonderful presentation of light, that glow, which really does enhance the lamenting pose of Jeremiah. From traditional to abstract art, from British art to American art, children get the opportunity to compare and to explore different cultures, styles and media. Trips to the local museum, photos from our lesson packs, chances to observe, observe, observe and an element of first-hand experience outdoors, indoors, handling materials will give greater insight for your children in their learning. Picking up a wildlife lesson pack might encourage viewing geese bathing, ants rummaging around the leaf litter. As well as light, colour, shape and composition, you might notice something scientific. Blink and you miss it. Each pack has lesson sequences, ensuring progression, in-depth lesson plans showing the skill, the aims which would be the learning intention or objective in class, success criteria essentially what your child's work should include by the end of a lesson. I particularly like the key words to articulate the art we're learning about and resources help keep on top of organisation to be fully prepared for the lesson. A reminder of prior learning to insert these new skills into the wider picture of the curriculum plus the tasks of the lesson and also beneficial are the links to other areas of the curriculum such as dance and design within this specific lesson plan. And this lesson focuses on accuracy for stem, veins and form of the leaf. Imagine children have been out foraging for leaves and we've got the ivy leaf. Paying close attention to its size, the veins, the delicacy of it. In some places there'll be really defined lines of the stem and in others they will be fainter. I always encourage for a soft sketched line in most cases. However, one would need to consider what the object or leaf here required. The important thing is it can be revised, added to, a rubber can be used for effect or to remove anything but why not layer up detail as one goes along. You can allow children to experiment with shading and other skills but primarily focus on the objective of the lesson which is the accuracy and the shape and the form of the leaf constantly comparing between the real thing and my own sketch. Considering composition and where to position the leaf on the page is also a superb recommendation. However, we will stay accurate to size rather than enlarging at this point because that is the focus of this lesson, drawing with accuracy. This is a sketchbook piece, an experimentation, not necessarily a final piece of art. However, it is worth noting that children will interpret their leaf task from their own perspective. So encouraging individuality and creative freedom is a wonderful thing. And from my experience, hosting a class gallery and sharing our thoughts throughout the lesson, but particularly at the end, will make each child proud whilst enabling them to learn from one another. ensuring that art gets the place that it deserves in our children's lives. Thanks for watching.